Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel and we're trying to make the best of a couple of days. Our video today is sort of a synopsis of what we've been doing for the past two days. We've been cooking a couple of good meals, we've been sitting outside when the sun comes out, which hasn't been often here in California. We've been doing some drive-bys waving to children. We've been FaceTiming with grandchildren and just basically trying to keep our spirits up. And we, we hope that you are too. Um, Want to give you maybe a little laugh. I don't know whether you can see these. These are fresh oranges picked from one of our children's trees. And my son, Matthew, I've mentioned, is the one that is being so careful about everything. He said, now when, when Colleen and Micah pick those off the tree up there, you've got to totally disinfect the oranges before Moose eats them and just be careful. Wear your gloves, blah, blah, blah. So Colleen brought them down. She left them outside on the glider. I put my gloves on. I brought them inside and I thought, what? What can I do to disinfect these? This is really funny. I hope you get a laugh. So I put my gloves on. I got my little spray bottle of Lysol. And with the gloves on, I sprayed very lightly all the rind of every single orange. Took the gloves off inside out, threw them away, went over to the sink and with hot, hot water, washed all the rinds. Now I hope you found that funny. I hope I don't continue to be as extreme as this, but that's my laugh for today. So I hope you subscribe and share, comment, tell me what you're doing during this time to, to stay positive and to keep your hopes up. Give a thumbs up and we'll see you soon. Hope you enjoyed the video of all sorts of things. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bevan. Happy birthday to you. Love you. Happy birthday, Bevan. We love you very much and we hope you have a wonderful day. You know, I I just had a call from my high school friend, Joan who lives in Houston, and it was so good to talk to her. We haven't talked in quite a while, and we were discussing the present situation. She is a widow, and her husband had died, um, I think a year or two ago, and Joan is really, it seems to me, struggling with being alone. A lot of her social contacts were with friends, and she played bridge a lot, and did so much outside the home. Um, Joan was always very organized and um, it, it's like we were all saying, this is so tough for seniors, especially seniors who are on their own. Bill and I have each other here so we can converse and, and enjoy each other and, and we do have to give our hugs to air hugs to anyone who comes. They don't come in the house. But um, this is this is a tough thing. I'm gonna adjust that. It looks a little low. So, just a minute. Okay, back to our supper. Well, it's 30 minutes later and I've just taken the Tex-Mex casserole out of the oven and I took a bite of it. And quite frankly, I found it a little dry. It didn't have enough oomph in it. I would definitely add more seasoning if you like things spicier. And what I did was I put some salsa 
on top of it quite a bit when I added some extra cheese on the top and salsa, or maybe you might want to put a, a little bit of fire roasted tomatoes in it. I think it needed to be a little more moist and that's my opinion. Put it back in the broiler now, uh, just for the cheese to melt. Hope you enjoy. This recipe is called a Tex-Mex casserole. And it only involves a few things. It's basically a dump type meal. We just dump it in the casserole dish, bake it for 30 minutes. We have some brown cooked rice, pinto beans and corn drained and washed, pepper. What is this? This is my chilies, which I have over here and you left over in the refrigerator. So I'm using those. Um, here we have seven eighths of a cup of Mexican style cheese, which is great cheese and also approved by Weight Watchers. And some fat free, I think it's three quarters of a cup of fat free sour cream. A little bit of, I think it's a teaspoon or a tablespoon, I will check of chili powder. I prefer using the envelopes. I just love the taste of those. In fact, I use these in my chili, so I might just use a, a tablespoon of the chili powder. Oh, forgot the scallions, just the green part, so I'll chop those up. And that's it, pretty much made from my refrigerator and my pantry. Um, I've already showed you all the ingredients. This is one of those clean out the pantry thing, which I think is one of the things we have to focus on. I was amazed when I went through my pantry and found so many things that we could be eating and using for, oh, heaven knows how long. So that's what I'm doing. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do, everything is pretty well done. I'm gonna chop up the chilies. Okay, tiny pieces. All right, they're ready to go. Cheese is ready. I'm going to just chop up in small pieces just the green parts of these onions or scallions. I don't even know what they're called. Okay, I think that might be enough. Now, here comes the fun part. So easy and you know, I um, think I mentioned I did start a Weight Watchers two weeks ago, believe it or not, and I have lost eight and a half pounds. And I find that Weight Watchers allows you to still eat all the things you love to eat, like pasta, but you eat wheat pasta, um, like rice, but you eat brown rice. Um, all the things and all the other things you try and find the fat-free versions. You can have cheese. So I prefer, I choose to eat what I like to eat. I don't like to think of anything as diet food, only I have changed to um, the fat-free versions and also the wheat versions. I even have a bread. They have this Ezekiel brown bread. I, I never ate stuff like this before, but I do want to keep going ahead with this. So we're eating tasty meals. So here we go. The directions say to just put everything in. So here's the corn. Dump it in. Okay. Pinto beans. Dump it in. Of course, we will mix it up. Okay brown rice, and it was one of those instant bags. I think it only calls for a cup, and I'm gonna put all of it in because I like it. And I guess this meal too will probably be for Bill and I tonight, and maybe again tomorrow night. Okay, so we have the sour cream, which I've already measured, believe it or not, three quarters of a cup. And the cheese was seven eighths of a cup, I believe. So that goes in. Now I'm gonna start mixing this up a little bit. This does bake in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. And then you take it out and you put a little more cheese on the top, put it into the broiler for 
just as long as it takes for the cheese to melt. Okay, so that's basically what that looks like. And what else do we have to put in? Okay, there goes the cheese. This looks good. I'm gonna save a little of the cheese. See, it looks great. It's filling up the casserole dish. Okay, we're gonna put the chilies in. Kind of run those around. Probably could have used more chilies. I should have opened up another little can. But hopefully we'll get the the hot zing from some of the this. This is the seasoning mix. Okay, this calls for a tablespoon. So I'm gonna put a tablespoon in and I might add more because I do like things a little hot. You know, if I'm gonna be dieting, I wanna get some zip in my diet here. Okay. Okay, so tell me if I've used everything. A little pepper. Okay. And I'm gonna mix up the spice. This looks good. I love rice, I love pasta. I think this Weight Watcher diet, or they don't call it a diet, it's a way of eating. I honestly think, I've been doing this now for two and a half weeks, and I have been able to do so well on it. Uh, we do like to eat about four, four o'clock, at least before five, and then at night when we're in bed watching shows or whatever we're doing, reading, um, I have been able to get by on the sugar-free Jello with a little bit of my cream. It's a true whip. One of my videos, I showed you what I love to have it in my coffee in the morning. That's one of my luxuries. And looks like this is it. I don't think I've left anything out. It looks delicious. Now, it doesn't have any meat in it but that's okay. I don't care. See, we'll probably have some chili later on in the week. It's another wonderful recipe that I love, the Weight Watcher chili recipe. It's so good. Into the oven, it goes at 350. Okay, I'll set my timer for 30 minutes, and that's it. Our supper is ready. And it's been a pantry haul, really, which uh, which I think is so clever. And I've got so much more in there. Um, Matthew tells us that the produce in the stores is pretty plentiful. As we wait for the casserole to come out of the oven, I just wanted to um, tell everybody that keep your spirits up. Think of how you're gonna take care of yourself or your family. Check your provisions in all your cabinets and your refrigerator and your freezer especially. I know my freezer has a lot of stuff in there that I can use up that I haven't thought about in a while too. We uh, plan to take a ride uh, right after we eat, we're gonna eat about four o'clock and we're going to drive down and see some grandkids drive by with the windows up and give bear hugs, air hugs we call them. It's a tough world right now, but we're gonna get through it and I hope all of you will, will do what you have to do to stay happy, uh, get involved in your hobbies, gardening, sewing, cleaning out the garage. I myself uh, have enjoyed this so much. The YouTube has become a big hobby with us. And, um, but I, I like to paint too. And I, I do have so many things I could do, like declutter and clean, whatever, but we'll get around to that. So please subscribe if you are enjoying our channel and share and like, thumbs up. 
and we'll probably do another one tomorrow or the next day where we'll show you how we're interacting with family and I still have some more um, homeschooling tips. I'm gonna read some, some books and things uh, over the video for our little kids. Being a former teacher, it's kind of coming out in my blood, so. Anyway, be kind to each other. We love you. Thank you for watching. Hi, how are you? I love you, I've been missing you. What What have you been doing all this time? Uh, we, have been, we have been outside you have playing. Been, and what else? Oh, I have been outside playing hopscotch with my friends. Oh, that's nice. Huh? In your backyard? No, it out front. In front. And um, I see you're coloring something. What are you coloring? I'm coloring this for Ariana. Oh, that's nice. Maybe you can make I'm something. Maybe you can make something for Moosey, too. I'm going to go do a drive-by. Good. Has the station been busy with uh, patients? Anybody with the virus? Um, not our station, but yeah. I mean, there's 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 stations that are. I mean, you go on people that say they're sick, and you know, you you don't know. You don't know, right? So nobody knows. Yeah. And you know, this is this has probably been out for you know. Oh my God! Months. I was like, you know what? You should just go pick up Nanny and Moose and drive up to Idaho. Um, we're, we've been isolated for a week. We haven't seen or, t or talked to anybody other than Matt dropping uh, things off. He makes us wear gloves. He won't come near us. I have to wipe yeah. down everything he brings me into the house. He's being cautious. But, yeah, you know, I was I thinking... Tell you, what, you know what? She sprays Lysol on the cabbage. <laughs> Not quite. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. We were giving air hugs. <laughs> air hugs to you guys. <laughs> is it a video? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> when I was a kid, we used to call this Eggies in the Piggies. We had these little egg holders. And they had little tiny feet, all kinds. And I found some, and my kids grew up with Eggies in the Piggies. Um, we have some dippers. Ezekiel toast that's one half a pat of butter on it and I'm gonna dig into that egg and of course my coffee so a yummy breakfast and Moose is outside waiting we're going out in the sunshine this morning and we're going to have our breakfast So we've been eating a lot of stews and today I'm making another stew. We've been eating soups and I've put in some leftover chicken kielbasa, which we had a nice, nice uh, meal the other night of uh, sauerkraut, which by the way, we love uh, baked beans and a nice kielbasa. So I put the leftovers in there. I put celery and onions. I have some cilantro and I put some spices in. I love the old Emeril's Original Essence. We've used that for a long time. That gives a nice taste to things. So I'll be putting some carrots in and of course, the leftover potatoes. Oh, we're making do with that and he's getting us uh, more produce as the days go on. Love the taste of mushrooms in a, a stew or a soup. 
As you can see, my stash of potatoes is going down, but they are a wonderful food. Even if you just ate potatoes alone, like the Irish did, um, you can get most all vitamins to keep you going. Just potatoes, believe it or not, except I believe vitamin C. And speaking of potatoes, yesterday morning, we had roasted potatoes with eggs. <laughs> I'm really making use of my potatoes and I put some great emeril sauce on them and some garlic and we mix them with some scrambled egg. Just peel these leftover carrots, pop them in, down to my last box of broth. And I will be putting some of that in since it's a stew. I won't put the full box in. Since I love tomatoes in a stew or a soup, I had some tomato basil sauce, the marinara, uh, left over from a couple of nights ago. <clears throat> I'm going to throw that in. Um, Matthew was able to pick up a couple of cans of the diced tomatoes. I especially like the fire roasted ones. This is going to be cooking now for two or three hours. Everything's in except tomato sauce and the potatoes and some cabbage. Looks good. I'm losing a few to the sides, but really starting to come out. good. Now, it is dry and you can use something called Molly McButter. Um, I had that a long time ago. And I don't know where it is, but let me try it. Here's the kernels. I do know uh, Orbis. Is it Orbis? What's his name? Colonel somebody or other has good hot air popper compatible. And these were the signature brand. And here's the Molly McButter. It's fat free. I've gotten this a long time ago for some diet or other, but it does the trick. Or if you really want to splurge, you can put your normal um, heated butter in here and it would be wonderful. That's my little machine. It works well and it was reasonable. So. Moose and I are sitting outside enjoying the garden. The sun is out and it's about 2, 3, 2.30 and Moose is having some of that popcorn I just popped. How is it? Moose and movie. Huh? Is it good? Good. Now we put a little um, melted butter on his, but it's great. The machine only cost me $14.98 at Big Lot. The flowers that we planted a couple of weeks ago and I we did a video when we were planting if you want to refer back to one of the bird feeding and gardening videos everything seems to have grown up and our tomato plants have made great progress since then especially the two early birds or early girls they're called they've probably quadrupled in in height I think that uh, a lot of people are worried about cabin fever and uh, being cooped up by themselves or with one or two or three or four people. I, you see from what we're doing, we're doing plenty. Um, that doesn't mean to say that this is the only thing I do. I also read a book. And I think what you guys are doing can be 
modeled after us. We love you all. Bye.